Well, the Pima County Master Gardeners want to tell you about the best kept secret in Tucson. Ooh, I love secrets. So to let the cat out of the bag, Joyce Nill joins us. Joyce, I love secrets, but I also love to hear, you know, the outcome of the secret. What is the best kept secret? Well, it is actually the demonstration gardens that is located on Roger Road in Campbell. Um, there are 14 gardens that are located on roughly one acre of land. Wow. Um, it's a wonderful place to visit. We have um, rotating gardeners throughout the, um, the years, mm -hmm. so every garden changes a little bit constantly. Um, in fact, in the last five years, we've added four additional gardens just out of the desert, so it's really, really beautiful, especially this time of the oh, year. Yeah. So we say it again, how many gardens are there total? We have 14 demonstration 14. gardens, and rather than thinking of them as demonstration gardens, we like to think of them as concept gardens, 14 different concepts. So, for example, if you wanted to attract wildlife to your garden, we have a habitat garden that you can come and visit and see how that is done. Um, if you have, um, maybe you live in a um, housing development where the landscaper um, finished the landscaping in the very front of your home, but then you walk to the back and it is just desert, walled desert, we have a garden called the Small Space Garden. And that is actually the same size as what a developer would turn over to you. And what they have done with that is beautiful. It's they have added pomegranate trees to it, they've added dwarf kumquat trees to it. There's a beautiful arch with climbing roses, iceberg roses on it, paths through that small space. And then each little garden within that space, um, there's an iris um, bed, there's perennial beds, there's cactus and succulent beds. So all different concepts within that garden. Well, I think that's great. And so would you say some of these are kind of maybe some unusual planting that's why you need the 14 because you guys are kind of covering so much we are and we're demonstrating different gardening concepts for example and I think I sent in a picture of this but there's a vegetable garden that has little red um, cups running down a row and what happened is we planted uh, corn sweet corn and the cutworms came along and ate the seedlings so we took red cups cut out the base of them and pop those over the seedlings and that will prevent the um, cutworms from getting in there. And that particular garden is actually a ba what they call a basin garden and it's done a way that they would have done uh, gardening in the frontier days. So they dig out a trough and they put the dirt to the sides and you walk on the sides and they constantly amend this center portion of it. So when it rains, the water will run into the center where you have been gardening. But that's an example of a vegetable garden that we have. We also have a container garden where they're layering different kinds of plants within a container. And they are just experimenting with a garden that is actually vertical. And the jury's not in on that one yet, <laughs> but they're testing these ideas out. We have a keyhole garden in one of the vegetable beds that is actually being used in Africa. So we're wow. really trying different concepts for people to come in and see what's new. And Joyce, these gardens are open to the public and we can actually even take a tour throughout all of them, right? Yes, that is true. We're open seven days a week, but to take a tour, you would want to come on a Wednesday or a Saturday morning at nine o'clock. And there's special master gardeners trained just on giving tours. And the tours go through the gardens. You can bring your camera, bring note paper, and jot down the names of plants. But if you have, say, a family reunion or there is a, um, oh, a convention of some sort and you have a larger group, you can call in and that committee chair will actually schedule a private tour for everyone. If not, we also have these handy little brochures that inside show the garden so people don't miss out on some of the different gardens that we have. Perfect. Well, Joyce, the gardens look gorgeous in the photos. I can only imagine how beautiful they are in real life. So I'm going to go ahead and give the viewers all that information again so they can see yes. it up close and personal. Thank yes. you so much for coming. Thanks for inviting me.
And again, you can experience the garden yourself every Wednesday and Saturday at 9 a.m. for a tour. All you have to do is meet at the Extension Building located at 4210 North Campbell Avenue. To learn more, just call 626-5161 or log on to extension.arizona.edu slash Pima.